Alright guys, I am super frustrated, but it's not your fault, it is mine. Because I just recorded this entire video, and it was totally screwed up. What happened was, I was listening to some YouTube videos early this morning. I took a call, and when I did, I hit mute on my computer so it stopped playing through my speakers. After I was done with the call, I finished up a few things, and I said, hey, I need to record that video because I wanted to do it last night, but I didn't have time. I pressed record, I recorded the entire video. It was awesome, by the way. Then when I downloaded the recording and played it, I could hear a bunch of background noise. So even though I couldn't hear it because my speakers were muted, the recording software was still picking up that noise in the background. So it's basically a bunch of random YouTube videos playing while I was talking. So it completely ruined the video. I am frustrated, so I'm going to try to hit all this stuff that I hit in the first video in about a third of the time. So sorry this is going to be super fast. I'm going to bounce through some things that I took more time to elaborate on last time. But I'm just frustrated with myself and I don't have another half hour to record the video. So here we go. The title of the video is Beware of Piston Token. Now I was already going to do this video yesterday. I already created the image and then the whole Splassive thing happened. So I changed the little thumbnail a little bit, but let's go through what, uh, what happened with Splassive. Then I'll move on to Piston Token and Drip. So most of you guys have seen a Splassive got crushed yesterday. And anytime you see something linear like this where it moves straight down, that's generally either a rug pull or a vulnerability in the system was found. So in this case, it, se it sounds like it, it was actually a vulnerability. At first everyone says this is a straight rug pull, but what they did is they left a good amount of money in there. So if you were a developer and you were trying to do a rug pull, pull the money out, why wouldn't you take all of it? I think there's like a million bucks that was left in the account. So we don't know for sure, but we do not think it was a rug pull. So the developer, I think his name's Bitcoin Brown, something like that, if I'm getting it wrong, I'm sorry. But he's already come out and said they're gonna to try to find a way to fix this. There was the vulnerability that was found. They kind of explained what happened. They made it seem like they knew that it could be a potential issue because but the way that their code was written, they didn't think it was gonna be an issue because it was a little bit different. Obviously this is a drip fork, so probably 99% of the code comes from the drip contract and they just spun it up a little bit differently. But these guys did get an audit, which is kind of frustrating. So this audit was done by, uh, I think, Rug Freak Coins. From what I could tell from a little bit of research I've done, they're a reputable auditing firm. So it seems like this is something they may have just missed. And that's super frustrating for investors. So when Splassiv first came out, I wanted to do a video on it because I looked into it. And I was trying to make a decision whether I wanted to get in or not. But my choice was to not get in. And I couldn't really put my finger on why. Like the first UI that they had was um, was a little bit ugly. I don't know if it was the color scheme, what, but my spidey sensor was just going off and telling me like, don't get into this project. So after I looked into it, I decided I didn't want to do it. I didn't love that it was on Avalanche. I, I like stuff on the BNB network for whatever reason. I don't think I liked the high dev fees. There, there was a handful of little things that, that just added up and I decided that I didn't want to do it. Obviously, I'm heavily invested in Drip, but in this Drip fork, I, I just decided it wasn't for me. So I'm really happy about that, but I do feel bad for all the investors that got in. Even some of the big Drip names, like I think Stunner Breezy, he's been pushing this pretty hard. So I'm sure he put a good amount of money in and, uh, and likely is, is negative on the ROI. So to him and everyone else, I am sorry that this happened to you. It's very frustrating. I'll admit that when this thing launched, I was actually getting a little bit of FOMO because the thing was running up. And I like this chart better than the drips chart because you can go all the way back. Drip only lets you go back like a, a day or two. So it goes back to the original um, launch and, and looks like, it, you know, whoever got it on the pre-sale got, uh, got it for super cheap. I think it was three something when uh, when most people got it on the pre-sale. And it had to run up all the way up here to uh, 52 or so, 53. So that's a really sizable run up. And then in a matter of 10 days, it went from that 53 down to 26. So about a 50% drop in 10 days, which is, which is pretty quick. Um, so that was a little concerning, but people thought it was going to curl back up and do well. But as soon as it hits this 26 mark, some hackers took advantage of a vulnerability in the code and wiped out the majority of the contract balance. So I apologize to all the investors uh, who lost money here. All these guys are real people. So whether you're only set on doing drip or whether you like some of these other, other projects, there's a million of them out there now. It's never fun when we see our peers lose a bunch of money, especially in, in something like this, you know. Some a-holes walked away with the majority of the contract balance and left a bunch of everyday investors just holding the bag. So like I said, when I titled this video, I didn't know this Splassa thing was gonna happen. But the fact that it did just reiterates my point. Beware of Piston Token. 
right? And that's not just piston token, it's every project like this. So even though it's a drip fork and drip is solid, obviously these are different developers, but this is still the DeFi space. This is the wild, wild west. Anything can happen. Weird vulnerabilities in the contracts, rug pulls from shady devs, and a million other things. So just invest with caution. So here's the breakdown on Piston Token. It's very similar to Drip. There are some differences in the contract, but you'll notice a ton of similarities. The start page here gives you the contract address so you can, uh, you can paste that into the web and get some details, make sure it's the real one. The white paper is actually really good, so we'll go over that here in a second. Currently trading for 14.46 BUSD, so reasonable entry price. You've got your claim tab, and this is if you got in on the pre-sale. Swap is like the native DEX, similar to the swap page on the Drip site. In this case, you're still on the Binance network, but you're exchanging BUSD instead of BNB for the piston token. But the functionality of this is exactly like Drip. And then the race, this is really where you're staking it. This is like the faucet, but obviously it's pretty cool. Just my first take on this was I really like the user interface. I think the user interface is, is really solid. It's a little bit cleaner than Drip, to be honest. And I don't hate the Drip website. I do think the new UI on Drip is actually gonna be a lot better. But as you can see, it's all around this race thing and everything ties into that. You can join their Telegram group down here too. So if you plan on getting in, I would recommend joining the Telegram group so you can get all the fresh updates. You can buy it also here on Bogged Finance. It's, it's kind of like buying on Pancake Swap. You're going to pay the additional fee. You'll pay an exchange fee of 10% over there. So it doesn't really make sense to buy Piston Token over there unless you're going to kind of day trade it or buy or sell it real quick. I would buy it uh, here on the native decks on the swap page and, and then use it if you want to do it. So before I go through the white paper, disclaimer, we just saw what happened to Splassiv. You've seen weird stuff happen with the animal farm. Drip's been pretty consistent without really any like contract issues or issues with the protocol. Of course, price has been going down there. We've seen rug pulls happen in that Monopoly NFT, and we've seen issues all across the DeFi space. So before you get into these projects, realize that there is risk. It is the wild, wild west. You could make a tremendous amount of money. You could lose all your money. So only put in risk capital. Make sure that whatever you're putting in here, you're still paying your mortgage, you've got all your other bills paid. If you were to lose this money, absolutely it would be frustrating, but hopefully it's not gonna change your quality of life, right? You should be speculative investments, especially for the first little while. I'd say on the drip side, now that it's been around for a year, I don't feel like I'm gambling the money over there. It's still moderate risk or I could lose it, but I don't think it's a super high risk gamble right now, personally. On this side, since this is brand new, I don't know the developers. They don't have a real track record in this space that I know of, so anything could happen. Piston token could take off and we make a ton of money from this. This could end up being a rug pull, or there could be some vulnerabilities in the system. I mean, anything can happen here. So do your own research, know what you're investing in, and if you're willing to assume the risk, then let's do it. I think a lot of us are willing to spread their money around to different projects they like, just to see if anything hits. Right now, obviously, I'm still fully in Drip. Some of you guys are gonna be like, oh, he's promoting another token. Listen, my channel isn't Drip only. It's based around investment stuff. The new thing, obviously, that's fun for me is the DeFi space. So I'm gonna cover a few other things. Most projects I won't get into because for whatever reason, I just don't like them or I'm not, not comfortable with the protocol or whatever. This one I do like, so I'm in. And if you wanna get in, that's cool too. Just make sure that you're aware of the risk that all these DeFi platforms have. Okay, white paper. Like I said, I already recorded this once, so we'll go through this a little bit faster than I did last time, and I'm sorry you guys are missing out. Piston Token has this super cool race theme. It operates extremely close to the way Drip operates. So when a user deposits Piston to add fuel to their gas tank, they will receive 1% daily returns for up to 365% of the amount in the tank. The amount for this calculation includes new tokens deposited as well as tokens compounded using the Nitro button, and that's like uh, rehydrating. All right, how is this a race? Where the goal of a real world race car driver is to be the fastest around the track, the goal of the Piston users is to accelerate their earnings by the following. Adding fuel using the nitro button and compound earnings. Again, that's like rehydrating. Pit crew, downline, or network. Obviously, if you add people to your team, it helps you. It's no different than any of these projects. And frankly, that's fine with me. I mean, it gets people in. It's a good way to not have to pay for a ton of marketing and still have people making YouTube videos about you and talking about you and stuff. So that's not a big deal. You gotta join somebody's team and you, you might as well join a buddies and get some of those uh, airdrops and stuff. 
So boost a portion of the transaction fees, people in one's pit crew. So the people in your pit crew or your network, when they're compounding their gains, a portion of those transaction fees go to you. All right, can I exit the race? When I first looked at this uh, several weeks ago, maybe even close to a month and a half ago, I was kind of put off by this because I thought it was kind of gimmicky. But in Drip, you can't take your money out. Once it's locked in the system, it's locked. You know that 1% per day is what you can take out. In this case, if I put in say $10,000, I have the ability to get out, I think within like seven days in the first week, which is fantastic, right? That's not locked up, except for the fact that you've already paid the 10% on the way in when you deposited, and then you're gonna pay an additional tax 10% to get it out. Plus you're really not getting any of the rewards. So in the first week, you haven't made any money. If you put your money in and then take it out on the first week, you're basically losing 20% on that. And if you're needing to take the money out that you put in less than a week ago, you are not a smart investor. You should not be investing that money. So to me, this is kind of useless. I guess there's maybe a small handful of people that will decide to get their money out, but it's kind of a waste of time in my opinion. Okay, taxes. To make it sustainable, there's always gonna be tax. So no tax when you buy it off the native decks. When you deposit, you'll have a 10% tax. 5% goes to the upline, 5% the contract balance. When you claim there's a 10% tax and when you sell there's a 10% tax. So this right here is exactly like drip. When you sell 1% gets burned, 2% uh, to liquidity, 3% to marketing and 4% to the contract balance. It's nice that some of this is burned. It's said to be truly deflationary because of that. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. To exit the project again, to eject, you're gonna pay a penalty of 10%. Again, if you're doing that, you made a poor investment decision to start with. And then compound, um, which they call nitro, this would be like hydrate on the drip side. That's only charging you 3% tax, which I like because it's 5% over on the drip side. So that's a little bit cheaper. So that's a perk. Okay, incentives. If you're going to build a team here um, to access these levels, you got to have $100 worth of piston in here for one, $300 for two, and so on. goes all the way up to, to 15 So this is important. There are two places where you can deposit piston on the piston site your gas tank, which is just like the standard faucet, which enables you to receive that 1% ROI per day, and the pit crew boost system. So this is something new. You'll have to make deposits into the pit crew boost for you to be able to get additional reward levels from your downline. So what is the benefit of depositing piston into the pit crew boost system? It allows you to receive boosts of piston from the nitro and deposit fees of users in your downline, right? Everybody in your pit crew, the people you recommended to join the site who signed up under your referral link, you want access to any of those benefits from those transaction fees when they're already rehydrating themselves. And you gotta put some piston into this pit crew boost system. This works pretty much the same way as Drip. You have the driver and then basically everybody underneath you is a pit crew. And those refer referral bonuses or whatever are paid on the round robin system. Real similar to Drip Network. Continuing on incentives, this is interesting. Uh, once Piston have been deposited for accessing pit crew boost levels, there are only two ways it can be withdrawn. So it kind of locks those funds up separately. If the user reaches a maximum of 50,000 Piston tokens, see whale resistance, or if the user claims until they've received all of the max payout of 365%. So it seems like whatever you put in that uh, pit crew boost, so you can get the additional rewards, that's locked up for a period of time until you max out is what it looks like to me. Of course, in order to access those pit crew boost rewards that you need to, you need to have a, a positive net deposit value, that's to be expected. So you need to be depositing more money than you're, you're taking out to be eligible for rewards, exactly like Drip. Here's the whale tax. It's set up a little bit differently than on the drip side, but a really similar structure. I won't go into this too much, but if you know 5,000 to uh, about 10,000 coins is the amount of piston that you've claimed until now, you pay a 15% tax, 20% tax, it goes up from there. For me, I'm ultimately not concerned about this yet. Once I get into whale status, I'll start to really dig into this, but I don't need to spend a tremendous amount of time on it. And then of course you can airdrop uh, to the level, you know, right below you of your pit crew all at once. So it's nice to be able to take some of those rewards that you're getting from the people that are signing up uh, as referrals and kicking those back to them so everyone can kind of grow this together. So again, not financial advice. I did get into this project personally, full disclosure. I bought about $550 worth, purchased it here from the swap tab using BUSD. And then when I went over here to the race tab and I joined the team of another YouTuber who put out a really good video uh, a week or two ago. I liked it, so I just figured I would join his team. One cool feature, you can change your name here. So you click on this, you can change it to, uh, you know, whatever your moniker is or YouTube name or Instagram, whatever. Once you've got your piston tokens, there's like a little join the race button or something right here. Once you click on that, it'll make you uh, deposit your piston into the race, which is just like depositing your drip into the faucet. 
Now, one trick is when you put that in there, if you click max and try to take all your piston and put it in the system, the likelihood is it's gonna give you this like high gas fee warning and says it's probably not gonna go through. And sometimes those gas fees are like a hundred or two hundred dollars, so super outrageous. So don't do that. I had to try it probably 10 times to get it to work. And what I had to do was round off to the closest even number. So if you buy some piston tokens and you get 20.5, you wanna put 20 in there. If you don't put an even number, the likelihood is it will not work. You'll get that error message when you try to deposit. So just be aware of that. Of course, I have six days left to exit the race, which would be a stupid idea. I like this one, but it is truly speculative for me. I don't know what to think about it quite yet, but I decided, hey man, if I could have got into drip a year ago, I definitely would have. Even with a small amount of money, like 500 or 1,000. So I'm gonna roll the dice on this one. I just say proceed with caution. Like I said, this could be a rug pull. It could be fantastic. I mean, we could make a ton of money on this. So we don't know yet. Proceed with caution. Only put in uh, what you're willing uh, to risk. I will probably let this ride for a week or two, see how things are going, and then maybe add another thousand or so. I think one of the major benefits that uh, Drip has is that we've got a lot of partnerships in the works, right? Loot NFT, you've got Pancake Swap, you've got Bitfury, you got a bunch of stuff coming online. But Drip's been around for a year and the developer's been able to focus on some other things to, you know, to blow it up. Piston Token, as far as I know, is just self-sustaining right now. It's just all by itself out here, which is good when people are getting in, but toward the end, you got to create some additional utility for that token. So these guys are going to need to go to work at some point once this is, you know, fully up and running like a well-oiled machine, no pun intended. They will need to go out and get some partnerships too and really build this thing up. But I think it looks cool, it looks very clean, and I'm willing to risk a little bit of capital to see if this thing ends up working out in a year. Again, I don't plan to move this money out probably at least until the end of the year, maybe January 1st of next year so I don't get hit on the taxes. So that's the earliest I will touch this money. I'm gonna continue to compound or use the nitro until then, and I have absolutely no plans to try to pull money out of this before probably the first of next year. So again, guys, that's my take on this. I, like I said, I, I like it. Um, but I'm still a little hesitant to, to go all in on it, but I do think it's an exciting project. So I will include my referral link down below. If you want to join my team, that's awesome. I'll be doing airdrops and stuff. If you want to join somebody else's team, that's awesome too. I'll keep you guys updated with the new stuff that comes out. I'll cover this as, you know, with as much information as I, as I can and hopefully provide some value to you guys. So if you like it and you're willing to roll the dice and gamble a little bit until this, this gets set up and we feel comfortable with the developers, then it's going to last a little while Then jump in on the race with me. It should be, uh, it should be fun. So again, I am not out of drip. I'm, uh, I'm all in here. Currently sitting at 697 drip, trying to get into the 700 club. I do personally think drip is at a point where it's about to take off. Currently sitting at 3466. If we look at the chart, it's kind of gone up and down. It's been hanging out in this range. I think this run up actually happened right around the time Splash had died because people felt a little more confident in this project. So again, I think some of these new partnerships are gonna come online and I think this is about as cheap as we're gonna get it in the near future. I think we see some pretty sizable and quick run-ups over the next couple months. After that, it could always die back down below the current levels and we could see a new low. But for me, I think we've built a really solid base between 25 and 35 and investors are just sitting waiting for a good announcement. So Animal Farm V2 is about to launch. Once that happens, Forex has said he's already got a couple partnerships lined up. If he drops one of those and it's of reasonable size, we're going to start to see this thing jump up incrementally, you know, 10, 15, 20 dollars with each new announcement that comes out and we'll be back in those solid ranges. So that's what I think. So again, Piston Token, beware of it. It's just like everything else. It's brand new. Don't get distracted by the new shiny object throw in whatever money you could risk. I am in it, but I'm only gonna risk, you know, maximum like $2,000 in there for the near future. Drip, I'm more confident in, so I'm more heavily invested in that. And I think Drip is gonna turn out to be a very lucrative investment for all of us, especially those of us who stayed patient. So anyway, that's my take on Splassive. Sorry for the guys who lost money. Hopefully they can find a way to rebound. That's my breakdown on Piston Token. I hope you guys appreciate the information. And that's a quick little update on the current state of Drip. So thank you guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Please like and subscribe if you watch this far. I really truly do appreciate each and every one of you. Happy investing.